now early as tomorrow if you look at my screen it's getting extremely oversold apple stock somehow gets down to uh, 183 or below that there is gonna be a dip by tomorrow and i'm going to buy that dip even with bad earnings just playing some uh, lotos for tomorrow day trading and why look at this lower bollinger band sitting close to 188 and the stock itself the market maker the market mover the biggest stock on earth trading below lower bollinger band it's not going to stay that way for too long we're going to see oversold bounce on apple and in that case apple can easily move back up to 188 to even 190 before going lower because we got more gaps down here 175.77 but in the short term, I can day trade Apple stock tomorrow. If this is how Apple stock opens tomorrow, 185 or below that. And this is exactly what I did on Apple stock right out of the gate, right at opening, buying those calls right here and then selling out on top. And if you look at it, guys, look at this five minute candle, dip buyers piling in right here and buying that dip and then the next candle, huge green candle, sold out for a profit, and then Apple stock was trading at 185 all day. Finally, end of the day, sold off. Now, this is not the only trade I took and I won. I took snow, I shorted snow at 172. That one also paid, also played Netflix, and then coin. Now, all those are down right now, but if you go back and time all that where I got in, everything paid today and that is why i do not trade all day by 12 pm i'm done and i'm not going to take any other trades especially for a day trade and you can go and follow me on x i got all those trades uh posted today on my x account so you can definitely go there the link is gonna be down below in the description and also the link for my patreon and my discord will be down below in the description guys what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about overall stock market to see what the market did today and where the market is heading going into tomorrow but before we dive into this video please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with youtube algorithm and if you want to support the channel get my daily trade ideas my swing trade ideas three days of live trading live in my discord definitely check out the patreon i'll leave a link down below in the description and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and now let's get right into it guys dow is down 0.43 percent nasdaq down 0.36 percent s p down 0.53 percent and russell 2000 also down on the day 0.20 percent and here in this group, so we got on top consumer cyclical, basic materials, energy. On bottom, technology taking a beating, utilities, consumer defensive, real estate, industrials, communication services, healthcare. And here in the stock market map, we got Google down 0.18%, Meta down 0.79%, Tesla down 2%, and Amazon up whopping 8% with that massive earnings beat. We also have AMD and QCOM going up today over 2%, Nvidia up on the day 0.37%, and Microsoft kind of a flat day only up 0.34%, and why the market sold off? The reason right here, the market itself, the market mover, the biggest stock on earth, down close to 5%. So on SPY, we got a pullback again, close to half a percent. Now I know this weekend on X and also on YouTube, Tons of people coming out with videos and crashes back. You know, we're going down in a huge way and nothing will survive. Your account will get wiped out. I know it's coming. Well, I don't think that is coming, guys. That's not coming right now because look at this boring sell off today. Yes, we went up all the way up to almost 453, but look at this sell off. I mean, and even if we get a sell off, let's say five to 10%, even 15%, that is still a healthy, normal pullback in a bull market. Nothing wrong with that. Now, if you look at it, the market mover, the biggest stock on earth, finally, after a long time, down 5%. When was the last time you saw Apple stock down 5%? You don't see that every day. And that is why 
market couldn't hold right here and we saw that sell off there is no bad news nothing big going on and i know there will be videos saying hey i call the top the crash is coming recession is coming you know get out wiped out and all that crap but it's not happening anytime soon economy is strong we got an election coming next year and i don't think any president and Joe Biden, he's not going to let this market crash and go down to hell before that election. So that's not happening this year. This is just a healthy pullback in a bull market. And if you're scared of this pullback, well, only thing I can say, you're not going to make any money. Now today, I only got puts on snow. And that was it because that was a day trade. I didn't buy any puts. I bought calls on Apple in the morning. I made money. I bought calls on Microsoft. I made money. I bought calls on Coin. I made money. So calls are still paying. Yes, I'll get into puts. I'm not a bull. I'm not a bear. And I said it so many times before. I play momentum. So if the momentum shifting to the downside and I see it here in the price action, I'm going to short the market. But this is not the time. We're very close to a support and the gap, 443. So watch out for that on SPY early as Monday. Now, we can just get a bounce from here on SPY. And if that happens, SPY can break above 450 and all these moving averages right here and fills the gap at, at 455. That would be more bullish. SPY can put in a higher high and possibly go above 460. On triple key, if you look at my screen, yes, we got a sell off from 378. And if you look at my screen, look at this, guys, 377.56. And I talked about it last night, how I want to see triple key above white line 20 SMA. We got rejected from this white line 20 SMA. And also all these moving averages right here, blue line and also orange line 13 SMA. We got a rejection. We also have a gap down here, 368. So also, if you look at my screen, it's kind of holding this support. Uh, 372 so early as Monday if there is a gap down triple Q possibly will come down to this gap 368 and then we could see a bounce from here because if you look at my screen it's not going down to 350 anytime soon look at this lower Bollinger Band sitting at 367 almost so that is kind of aligned with this gap and also this rising red line 50 SMA that's gonna be a strong support between 368 and 367 on triple Q now to the upside above 372 we could see a move back up to retest white line 20 SMA around 377 to 378 and if that breaks watch out for the gap on top 380.69 and above that blue sky we're going to see a new all-time high on triple Q and on DIA it's down 0.38 percent and I talked about it how DIA can still come down here to close this gap and also hold the bob rising white line 20 SMA right here around 350 and that is holding so far so early as Monday as long as DIA can hold right here 350 we could see a move back up to 353 and then all the way up to even 360 below this gap right here 350 watch out for a move down here to 346 and then possibly down to this gap 343 on IWM also slightly down on the day we saw a rally early in the day all the way up to 196 and getting rejected by this 5 SMA on this daily chart blue line setting at 196 and then coming down and just closing just below White line 20 SMA 194.37. So you want to see IWM holding 194 going into Monday because if that gives up, that opens the door to this gap 190. And I think that is possible. IWM comes all the way down to 190 before heading higher back up to 200 plus. To the upside, IWM can hold 194. Watch out for the resistance to break 196. And soon as that breaks, IWM heading higher back up to 200. So on VIX is up over 7% and we talked about it yesterday in my video that watch out for a VIX crush Friday down to this gap and this is exactly what we got but end of the day lot of dip buyers buying this dip on VIX and pushing the price higher again above 15 and also above upper Bollinger Band 16.35 so early as next week yes this thing can run a bit higher we got some momentum on VIX up to 18 and if that happens, I think it's going to pull right back down to 
at least $15 again. Now above 18, things can change. We could see a deeper pullback in the market and this thing can run all the way up to 20 and that is gonna be a dip buying opportunity in the market. So keep that in mind. Do not fear the crash videos guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely keep you guys updated.